You didn't participate in Adani's stock sale. Can you tell us why not? Uh, it's all about debt. I mean, the, the company and its associates uh, are heavily in debt, and that's what sort of scared us away. In addition, uh, we usually concentrate on smaller companies, but in any case, the real issue was debt. Mark, are you still there? We seem to have lost the you. The Indian market is big, and it's very interesting, you know? Mark, is this an India problem, or is this an Adani problem? It's an Adani problem. Uh, India is going to still go from strength to strength. It's an incredible country, incredible prospects, high growth, young population. So I think it's, uh, it's just one of the typical scandals that you get in capital markets, and mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it'll, it'll pass, let's put it that way. Mark, where's the risk to contagion that you see? I mean, we see banks uh, saying we're not going to accept debt or stock as collateral from other investors. Like, is there a potential contagion effect? Well, of course, the banks are now going to be much more cautious as a result of this, and uh, that will impact some of the high, highly indebted companies. But those companies that have strong balance sheets and low debt will do very well, will continue to do well. You know, in any story like this, there are always winners and losers, and there'll be winners, that's for sure.